In today's video on the Rat Rod PT Cruiser, we're going to be laying down the scallops. Let's go ahead and get started with how I do that. Welcome to More Motorsports Garage. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So in this video, we're going to be laying down the scallops on the matte black that we did in the previous video. Uh, we're going for that old Rat Rod PT Cruiser uh, look where modern meets old school. I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure how it's going to turn out. I'm going to do my absolute best. Um, my dad did his PT Cruiser like you see on screen. We're going to be trying to do something similar to that. Um, of course, I'm not as good as him, but I will definitely give it my best shot that I can. No risk, no reward. So I'm going to go ahead, pull this in the garage and get started. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, to begin, we're going to start on the driver fender. We're going for something like that. That's exactly how my dad did it on his. I'm going to try to do the same thing as it is right here. I'm not sure we're doing anything on the hood yet, but I do want to try the fender and door at least. Um, we're going to be using this pinstripe painter's tape. It's very thin painter's tape, so it's flexible for curves. Then we're going to be priming it, um, shooting the red. Then we're going to use some 2K clear over the red. And then uh, we're gonna, after it's all dry, we're going to pinstripe around it in white, exactly how it is right here in the picture. So I'm going to go ahead, shut the garage door, get it warmed up in here because it is a little chilly today. Um, and we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so when using this tape right here, um, we're going to try to follow a lot of the curvature that's already on the factory body setup. But we're going to make sure the inside line here is clean. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the outside line looks like because the paint's not going to be painting on the outside line. We're going to obviously plastic paper all that stuff off so that way we can, you know, make sure there's no overspray. But when doing this, you want to make sure to curve it and remember that the inside line is where the paint's going to be. So that's how you want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, doing this. I'll probably time elapse some of it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I've got it at this point so far, and I actually really like the green look. Kind of wish I went with the black and green theme, but, you know, trying to make it closer to my dad's style. But, uh, yeah, got all that taped. It's the best I can do. I, I don't know how my dad does it so good, but we're going to go ahead and tape around all of this as well. Um, get it all plasticed off. We will start laying down some primer and paint. But, uh, yeah, it goes all the way back right to pretty much right at the door handle and that will be red so it should look pretty cool whenever i get it all filled in so i'm gonna go ahead and do that got all of this plasticed off I'm gonna use a scuff pad basically just gonna scuff up the paint then after we're done scuffing the paint up we'll wipe it down we'll shoot the primer then we'll lay on the red OK, 
Okay, now we're gonna go over it with some Duplicolor Primer and then some of the Duplicolor Engine Enamel. The reason I like this Engine Enamel, it's a very durable paint and it looks really good. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, while the primer is dry, we're going to go ahead and start laying on the red. Okay, so if you haven't seen me use Spray Max's 2K Clear, this is not the same as 2X paint. This is not the same as Rust-Oleum's. This actually has a hardener in it like spray gun paint. Um, the hardener is activated on the bottom with this little red thing that goes right there. So basically just puncture it, shake it up really well. I'd say shake it for at least 60 seconds. Um, and then you can spray it. Now this stuff has very harsh fumes, so definitely have ventilation and wear a respirator because it is pretty pretty intense. But there is a little bit of orange peel from the black that's in the red that I can see. So you might see that with the clear, but either way, it's gonna look really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, now when doing this, you want to be very, very careful, especially if it's still tacky. Um, you want to peel away from the paint, never towards the paint. And you want to make sure you're aware of whether your clothing's touching it or anything. So be very, very careful. Okay, now that we got that done, it looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and start back here with the back section, and then I'll give you a rundown of all of what it looks like up close as soon as we're done with this. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video.
right, got the driver's side done. I think it's pretty close to how my dad had his set up. As you can see here in the picture, um, looks pretty close. The only difference is I don't have the pinstripe on yet, which I will put this on after I get the other side done. Also, I decided to install this chrome trim piece right here around the top of the visor. So this was the black trim that was on there to begin with. I went ahead and pulled that off. It basically slides just right over the top of the lip of it. And uh, yeah, here it is. It looks pretty good all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this side done. Then we can start with the pinstripe. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, we got the driver's side and the passenger side done now. It looks pretty good, I think. Um, while this side dries, we're gonna pinstripe the driver's side. Now, basically what I'm doing with the pinstripe is just going along the edges all the way through the paint. So it's pretty simple to pinstripe. Um, I don't really know how to explain out how else to do it. But before we do that, I wanted to show you the wrinkle in this paint. It looks absolutely amazing. I didn't expect it to come out like that, but it, I think it's reacting to the tractor paint or something because it did that through all of the paint. But I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm just gonna roll with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started pinstriping. Right, the rat rod cruiser is definitely coming together. We've got the pinstripe on through it all. And it looks really, really good. This is exactly what I was going for. I even got the pinstripe tape in there. Give it that little extra detail. This thing is looking sweet. Well, when I got this cruiser, I did not expect it to actually turn out this awesome. Um, I still have to get some window tint and stuff like that because it's, it's like a fish bowl. That's like the only main thing. Um, they make TN suspension for the lowering, so we can actually use lowering springs on this thing and get it a uh, comfortable ride still while lowering it. As it is, it is a very comfortable ride. It runs good, it is super slow, it's automatic, and it's not the turbo GT model um, because they do make a PT Cruiser GT model. Those things are pretty quick. Um, that's the engine I had in my SRT4. I actually got it from a PT Cruiser uh, turbo. But yeah, it's definitely coming together. Definitely has that old school meets new school rat rod vibe. Now when using the pinstripe tape, the problem I've ran into was it started peeling up. After I had uh, done this side, went to the other side, I came back and this side was peeling. So use a heat gun, that's the solution I found for it. Just use a little cheap Harbor Freight heat gun or whatever and uh, lightly heat it up and press it back down like this. After you've heated it, 
and it sticks. So it's definitely a pretty, pretty nice little setup and it was really cheap to do these graphics. Um, I just copied off my dad, so it wasn't my original idea, but uh, yeah, I think I nailed it pretty close. This is mine and this is a picture of my dad's. So they are pretty similar for sure. He had the reverse hood and all that um, up to above my pay grade. Let me tell you, he did something really crazy with redneck engineering on that thing, but um, it definitely was pretty cool. And this is a smooth running car for sure. And it will be up for sale after I get it a little bit further for how I want it, but it runs fantastic. And the only thing I could complain about is how slow it is. Heater's hot, AC's cold, smooth ride. I love it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying my best to get content out for you guys, so bear with me. But uh, that's basically it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, drop a comment below, and share it around social media. It helps me tremendously. Lately, my videos have not been getting the right uh, views. No one's been sharing them, really. Maybe a select few, but i greatly appreciate it if you guys could share it around. But we'll go ahead and get off here. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.